All right, that last video made me freaking sick. Yeah, somehow they could just hold up on every close freaking pitch. It's freaking stupid, and they hit the ones that are perfect. It's oh my god. Uh, AI so stupid. <sighs> Taylor Teagard will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. He's set, now the pitch. Perhaps oh, come on! I think he's going out there right now just to remind his guy, hey, this is the number eight hitter up there. No reason to, to work the edges. Just come right after him. Screwball offered at and missed that time as the count draws even at two and two. And there he goes toward second. Swing and a liner. Foul. Runner at first here, one man out. The two two one more time. Wow. Three and two. Now the question do you send the guy on three and two with one out? You figure you're going to get something around the plate. Three and two, here it is. Finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Stanley Kimura will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Here's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. And no one Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Eric Young Jr. will step in now and see what he can do with two on and two out here in the sixth. And a high strike to begin the at bat is 0-1. It's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. In the dirt here. But fortunately here, no advance. Young waiting on the 1-1. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here comes the 1-2. Fastball, easy to lay off that time, two and two. He's ready now, the pitch. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Uh. Juan Rutherford is on the pitch now as he'll take over to start inning number seven. An entertaining game all in all, so if we have to choose one who stood out... Probably be better off just playing until I'm actually a starter. <laughs> 